Hello everyone and welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I used nine pieces that were 12 inches or 35 centimeters. And I also used nine pieces that are 140 centimeters or four feet long for the leaf parts for this particular tree. So I put a little hook in the end of the yellow wire and a little hook in the end of the blue wire. And I get those two hooks over top of each other and crimp them together to lock the two pieces together. This was after I put two loops in the blue wire, as you can see in the video. The two elongated loops are approximately the same length and they just go around the yellow wire and then I pinch them down a little bit and I roll the blue wire around the yellow wire, one loop, keeping it to the one side opposite of the last loop that is on the other side. Using my round jeweler pliers, I uh, grab the end part of the wire and I bend it over it trying to make my loops about the same size and I keep going through this process of wrap it around, make a loop, wrap it around, make a loop. Now, as I come to almost the very end of the uh, blue wire, I put one last loop in it and then I just twist that around, keep going and keep going until the blue is completely wrapped around the yellow wire. And with that being done, I crimp it off and I make eight more. Now, once they're all made, I um, start crimping over each loop as I don't want them to be an open loop. I want them all pinched closed as best as I can. This was a little on the difficult side. The wires kept twisting and it's just a part where you got to have the patience to get through it. Once all the loops are crimped and closed up, then you start twisting or bending them towards the end, bending each one, keeping them as best as you can parallel to each other. But uh, as you can see, it's starting to look like a palm leaf. Once they're all leaning towards the end, then I kind of roll them over, making them a little droopy out to the ends, and I roll it and bend it so that it looks like a nice palm leaf. Now to do that eight more times. Now to take all of our completed palm leaves and put them together. So I started putting them together uh, placing them together and I didn't like how it was going so I had to redo it. And in redoing it I decided that I needed to put any of the ones that were a little bit shorter than the others in the middle and work my way around as I started doing it backwards, thinking I could put the smaller ones in the middle after the, I had the big ones in place. 
And also, as I was doing this, I would twist the wires to help hold things together. Once I got all of the palm leaves together, then I started with twisting the remaining yellow wire ends together. Once I got all of the yellow wires twisted good and tight together, I was able to uh, get a good idea of what this tree is going to look like, and I'm very happy with how it's coming out. Now for the next step. Off camera, I took a metal rod approximately 28 inches long, and I wrapped wire around it in a very nice long coil looking just like a big wobbly spring. And after that was done, I slid that off of the rod. So I started with my fingers just uh, kind of bending the spring coil over to one side, and then I used my pliers to try and flatten it just a little bit more with some control so I did not squish it completely flat as I still needed it slightly flexible. After I had that done to my liking, uh, it was time to put it on the trunk of the tree as the outer part of the trunk. My first attempt, I hooked it on and it wasn't going well, so I had to cut that piece off. Thankfully, I made uh, way more than I needed. So after hooking the very end of it around one of the palm frond ends, uh, I started looping it around the trunk of the tree and this opened up the coils a little bit, which was not what I was going for, but it was a happy accident that it turned out pretty cool. So I continued to wrap this all the way down around the wire, yellow wires that were twisted together. And once that was done, I cut off the excess and I wrapped that last bit of wire around the bottom of the trunk nice and tight to hold everything together. So I decided to use some of that BD foam, packaging foam stuff for the base. And I just used a sharp knife and cut it down to the shape and how I wanted it for the base of this tree. After getting it in the base of the tree in there and the wire stuck through and folded over, 
Uh, I separated some of those strands and twisted them out into three different directions to give it a little bit more stability, but it still needed more, so I glued a piece of cardboard to the bottom of it. with just a couple of pieces of painter's tape to hold everything, it was ready to be set aside to dry. And once the cardboard was glued to the bottom very well, I mixed up some Mod Podge and a little bit of craft paint and tan, and I painted the base. With the Mod Podge paint mixture still wet, I sprinkled on some very fine dirt to be like a sand texture to complete the base. And with that, the wire palm tree is done. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.